What's up, guys? Brian Grant here of ContestChampion.com, here to bring you some more Alliance War coverage. This time, my Alliance for Loki is going up against EDSLM. And there's a little bit of a bonus this war, as I do get a little bit of the final boss action. I uh, just want to clarify, though, uh, don't expect to see a, a one shot or anything like that. You're definitely at the wrong channel if you are thinking that. Uh, uh, that I could even do half of the boss's <laughs> HP in one go uh, at, at this level. I, I cannot. Uh, I'll direct you to the Analyzers channel or something. Uh, but in any case, I'm in this war with Iceman, Gwenpool, and Vision. And we're pulling up to the first node here, the Outlast node, the Outlast Optimus Plagued Mind, Mind node. And I'm never sure who I'm going to see here. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of Mordo, um, occasional Juggernaut, Magic, Nightcrawler. Any of these guys, I, I saw magic was unduped in the, in the profile there, so I knew it wasn't going to be magic, and, well, if it was, I, I would not have mind, uh, would not have minded, but, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pop a boost here, as I finally recovered from all the boosts that I use, uh, you know, going into the labyrinth and stuff, um, so I can start using boosts again in these wars, uh, some of them at least, and the fir turns out this first fight is against Mordo. Okay, no problem, and it's, you know, just a four-star Mordo, so it should not be too big of a deal, as long as I'm very careful on, uh, you know, not triggering one of my automatic stuns while he's bleeding. Uh, I'm just trying to watch out for that. You know, other than that, should not be too big of a deal. And he, I'm, I'm very lucky that Mordo's actually cooperating and, and throwing his specials, so that's awesome. Uh, watch right here, though. I, uh, I tried to use my SP2 to finish off the fight, uh, and my last attack, my, my fifth attack in the combo... Uh, it did not connect, and uh, I guess I hit the special button a little too early, and yeah, therefore he blocked the special, so that, that kind of sucked, uh, as that probably would have killed him off, and I would have saved myself that 5% uh, that health uh, from recoil, so um, either way, you know, um, the fight, fight, fight went well enough, uh, I didn't lose that much HP, um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way that the first fight went. Okay, we're coming up to the unblockable uh, SP2 node, unblockable special 2 node. I'm going to go in here with Vision, thinking it is Doctor Strange or Hood. And it's actually Green Goblin. What? Green Goblin? Uh, there's something really interesting that I did not think about Green Goblin here. Is normally Vision starts out with like practically two full bars of power. It's like a bar and a half. And then, you know, by the time you get your parry and five hit combo, you're at the two bars of power. Well, that's not the case here with Green Goblin. Uh, I also don't know his animations yet. I forgot them from when I was testing. I don't know what his SP2 looked like, so I'm very happy that he did not throw his SP2 there. I get the power burn off. He throws the SP1, and I remember it being lasers and then that little, uh, uh, you know, pumpkin bomb or whatever it's called. Um, so I was able to uh, block most of that and dodge, and the fight's under control from here pretty much. Um, one little thing right here, I, I mistimed my parry. I... I just completely stand there like an idiot instead of parrying, I guess. Uh, so I take a lot of damage there. Otherwise, the fight would not have been that bad. Um, but it was definitely, you know, this definitely threw me off seeing Green Goblin at this node. Uh, I panicked like crazy. I almost, I almost actually paused the fight uh, just to go try to look back at, uh, you know, the video where I was testing him to try to look at his animations. Um, but I was like, you know what? No, I, I let me let me just do this. I can I can probably manage it okay. Uh, and and I was, again, I was very lucky that he did not throw one of his SP twos when he had the chance. Um, but uh, yeah, the, basically, I, I just that that one mess up cost me the majority of my health though. Uh, but got through the fight, so I'm still happy with it. On to the next node here, and this is the stun immune node. And I'm not sure who I'm gonna find here. Um, I typically will fight somebody here who has Unstoppable, so Juggernaut or Unstoppable Colossus, although I haven't seen Unstoppable Colossus in a very, very long time, uh, or Spider-Man. Uh, and I, you know, I saw the profile and I was like, ah, it doesn't really have either of those, but he has his Ultron, maybe Ultron will be here. No, it's actually Dormammu. Okay, so Dormammu, um, pretty tough opponent, but, you know, I, I can, I can kind of handle Dormammu. Uh, sometimes, um, but here, watch this. Okay, I get parried, um, and now I'm in a rough spot. I'm in a really rough spot. I'm already backed against the wall, uh, and I have to actually get hit by the heavy attack there too. All right, finally get an opening and in, start doing some damage. But I already lost most of my HP. Plus, I'm fighting against the wall here, so I have to just keep attacking into him, even though uh, I'm just giving him more and more power. Um, yeah, I, the fight. 
I'm just getting wrecked, basically. I don't even know what to say. You guys, you guys can see it. There's, there's nothing I could do, man. Uh, the fight just started so poorly, and yeah, I, I barely did any damage to him. That was one of my worst Dormammu fights to date. Uh, man. There's definitely some wars that I record, and I'm like, ah, I really don't want to upload this, but I already said that I would upload every single war that I'm able to record, including the times when I get wrecked, so... Yeah, there it is, man. Uh, I get absolutely annihilated by Dormammu. Uh, I go back in with Iceman trying to avenge Gwenpool's death. And this fight goes a little bit better. Definitely still full of, uh, you know, some good mistakes. Uh, but the one good thing about, uh, you know, forcing myself to upload these, these videos and, and recording them and everything is that I can learn from them. Um, I, I definitely... Uh, I mean, on the last fight, there's not much that I needed to learn other than attack faster after his five-hit combo so that I don't get parried like that. But against this fight, I can definitely definitely learn some things. Uh, the strategy going into it was I don't care about his power meter. Um, if he was going to throw his special one, fine, I'll dodge it. But if not, then I'm just going to push him to his SP3, and you know I don't really care. Um, if I push him to his SP3, I'll gain back my ice armor, and uh, he, he won't really be able to do much damage to me. Um, you know, with his special three, since, you know, maximum he could do is 5%. So, aside from that, I'm trying not to trigger dexterity as much as possible so that I don't get that degen on me, but of course, that's pretty difficult to do, uh, which is what makes Dramamo such a good defender. Um, and we're kind of just trading back SP3s back and forth. Uh, I have degen on me right now, and it is definitely uh, doing some, some serious damage over time here. I'm um, hoping that he'll just throw his, his special one and cooperate with, with me so that I don't die twice to this guy. Um, I'm just waiting for it. Like, please, dude, throw the SP1. Come on, man. All right, he's not going to throw it, but that's okay. I've got my ice armor back, so I'm just going to uh, push him into SP2 again. He actually throws the, uh, the SP2 there. Um, I meant to say SP3 that I was going to push him into. Uh, and I end up finishing the fight, though, with, uh, with my SP2. So, not the cleanest fight at all. Um, I don't know how much I really learned from that, but uh, I'm definitely going to watch that back and uh, you know see what I can get out of the fight there uh, if you guys have any tips for fighting Dormammu I'm definitely all ears welcome to uh, hear what tips you have other than using uh, a different champion um, because yeah I, I, I think that I would have had a better time using Vision there but at the same time Vision was already weak because I have to use him against the unblockable S2 node and you know a lot of times he's gonna be he's gonna be weak so I'm not always gonna have him to use uh, but if you have any tips for uh, fighting him with other champions again definitely all ears anyway we're pulling up to the next node here and this node I'm expecting to see this Mordo um, I this is the power gain node someone else took down the uh, the thorns node since I was in such rough shape I didn't even get a didn't even get a crack out of this go around um, the power gain node here and I was trying to see if he was on the right protector, and he, he's not. So I'm thinking, okay, looks like I'll be fighting Mordo here. Um, otherwise, normally I see Magic and Hyperion, as uh, if you watch these videos, you'll know that those are by far the two most common champions I see on this node. Uh, I go ahead and heal up. Basically, I was trying to decide if I wanted to uh, revive Gwenpool and heal up Gwenpool or heal up Vision. I knew I was going to use uh, some consumables either way. Um, but I heal up Vision. It's actually Hyperion. I was surprised. Uh, I really thought that I was going to see uh, Mordo on this node here, um, but it is Hyperion, and because I healed up, uh, I'm, I'm fairly confident going into this fight, you know, uh, Vision, um, while I can occasionally get get caught uh, by Hyperion's special 3 or something like that, or back into a corner, for the most part, I, I'm able to handle this fight fine enough. Um, and things things go all right for me here. He's he's cooperating very nicely with using his specials. That's the main problem with Hyperion is that sometimes he just does not want to throw his specials. But uh, here he's you know he's very open to throwing them, giving me these opportunities to attack and get my power burns and stuff. So uh, all in all, uh, not too bad of a fight. Get that one last parry, five hit combo, SP2, and Hyperion is down. All right. So, that is my last fight of my normal path here, as you guys know. But, I did say that there was going to be a little bit of boss action. And the boss, of course, is Dormammu. The champion I just struggled with. 
Um, the thing is, whenever I see a boss that is not uh, magic, I, I try to, to at least help out. I know, you know, I'm not good enough to take down the boss in, in by myself, uh, but I try to at least help out. If, if it's magic, then uh, I usually let somebody else deal with that, because I, I just can't deal with magic. Um, I've I, I try every once in a while, but I, I just get wrecked by magic. But other bosses, I could at least do some kind of damage against, it seems. So I'm thinking, okay, I'll go in with Vision. I'll heal up Vision again. I'll go in with Vision and just try to power control him as best as possible. Hopefully he throws his SP1s. Uh, I'm going to boost up for the fight as well. And uh, if, if he throws his SP1s, then I can actually get in a decent amount of damage um, while, you know, controlling his power, keeping him down in that SP1 range. Um, this way he doesn't get to his SP2 or SP3. And, uh, you know, I can, I can get in a little bit of damage. Uh, there are times where I do fairly well against Dormammu, especially when I have vision at, at my disposal here. Um, but there were a few key mistakes, and I'm going to point them out. Uh, first off, you know, I wasn't quick enough, so I, I, do give him the, or I do gain the dexterity buff there. But a lot of times... Uh, when I bait out as heavy, I can I can dodge it fast enough that I don't gain dexterity. So I, I try to do that. Um, you can see right there, I did not gain dexterity. So I'm trying my best to do that, and that's my main main goal here is just to keep baiting out heavies. I'm not going to try to intercept, and I should have thrown my SP2 right there. That's that's a real big mistake. Because um, watch now my next five hit combo. First off, I gained dexterity there, but now my next five hit combo, I actually push myself to SP3, and this this is not good. Uh, I definitely learned from this fight here, because that will only drain him down uh, to his SP2 still, so that is not where I want him. I want him to be in that, uh, you know, between uh, one and two bars of power, but not gaining that second bar of power so that he can hopefully throw his special ones. Uh, and finally, he starts throwing his, his special ones, but it's already too late. Uh, I've already made my fatal mistakes in the fight, and uh, I do go down. Um, I definitely could have done better this fight, like I said. Uh, going forward, I will remember that my special 3, at best, can burn 33% of power, which is one bar exactly. Um, so yeah, I can't, I can't use my SP3 in that type of situation. He started with 259,000 life, he dropped down to 220k, uh, which means I did about 15% of his maximum health. Um, not as well as I would have liked to do. I was actually, um, gonna try to get in a second chance here. Um, but it was it's tough to get an opening right now. Uh, I see that uh, officer in my group, J Dam, is is fighting him with his Hulk, trying to do his best to Hulk smash this guy down, um, and he does take quite a bit off of him uh, before I could even get in there. Cameron's already in there, and uh, Cameron go has, goes ahead and finishes him off. Um, so shout out to my alliance for uh, you know really pulling through on these boss kills as. You know, normally, normally you guys don't see boss fights for a reason, because normally I, I, I just, yeah, I can't do much. Uh, these guys normally handle it all. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this war. It was a very, very tight war against EDSLM. They actually crushed us in terms of total kills. Um, so yeah, they, they, they played uh, very well, but we did get three boss kills to their two boss kills. So we actually did come out uh, on top in this war. Um, but yeah, very good war to you guys, uh, and that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care.